We start in Paris, where the opening ceremony for the Olympic Games has taken place. It came at the end of a chaotic day in the French capital, following coordinated arson attacks on the country's high-speed rail lines. For the first time ever, the ceremony did not take part inside a stadium. Inside, the competing nations set paraded along the River Seine in boats. 300,000 spectators watched in the rain as the 10,000 athletes made their way down the six-kilometer route. Lady Gaga was amongst the entertainers. There were more than 100 heads of state attending. Well, Team GB were led by flag bearers diver Tom Daly and rower Helen Glover. Andy Murray was seen alongside the other athletes ahead of what will be his final tournament of his retirement. The full delegation of 327 athletes weren't present as some opted out due to events in the coming days. Well, as mentioned, the ceremony came after a day of disruption in Paris as high-speed train lines in France were vandalised in what's been described as coordinated malicious acts. The attacks have impacted train lines leading in and out of Paris, including Gardenor. It's estimated that hundreds of thousands of people have been affected. The French government has expressed its anger at the attempts to sabotage and stopped short of apportioning blame to a particular group for what's happened. In response, extra police have been sent to train stations across the city. The Paris prosecutor has opened an investigation and said the crime carries up to 20 years in prison. People doing that, you know, they're, um, they're really playing against the side of the athletes who have been working so hard for so many years to, 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 to be there, to, to enjoy their sport, to deliver their performance, to uh, realize, I mean, to, 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 to live their dreams. We are not going to impede them. And, you know, there have been like thousands of people working on, on, on that. I'm, I have a little bit of anger, you know, a bit preoccupied, a bit stressed anger, but we're not going to let ourselves destabilize by this. I don't have concern. We have full, uh, we have, uh, full confidence uh, in uh, the French authorities. Uh, all the measures are being uh, taken and uh, the French authorities are uh, assisted uh, by uh, 180 uh, other uh, intelligence services around uh, the world. And uh, not only by information, some of them are even deploying uh, uh, their uh, human resources. And uh, so uh, we have good reasons to have full confidence.